Hey, this is Jack Downs. Just want to make a brief video here about the cage. I'm, of course, using the uh, desktop version or laptop version. Um, you could use this, these links through your phone. It would be similar. Um, the cage reservations uh, software, which is a couple of problems or, or potential problems. Um, some which will be fixed and worked out soon and some which may or may not be. Um, here's the deal. Uh, um, you, you, you have the handout from class and you saw the idea of abusing your, your normal login and then using password one, two, three, four. I've at least seen from at least one person, and it probably may happen to more of you, that that doesn't work. If that doesn't work, just go ahead and click on the forgot password and then you give it your college email address and it will send you a, a reset password or link, in which case then you would go in and you would make give it the new password it would and then you'd be able to log in with that new password and you'd be all set so that's the other way to get a new get started in it is to end up doing the forgot password link here and going from there one way or the other you're going to get in and then you if you did use the password one two three four you have to then reset a new password and then log in again so one way or another you're going to get logged in and you're going to go the first login i've noticed sometimes it doesn't look like this if it doesn't look like this then you'll want to go to the dashboard which is this page that's one one way you'll actually you might probably want to look at through the instructions because there's a number of ways to make a reservation one thing that's weird is right now we're seeing these and you may also see unless it doesn't get fixed these audio lab one two three four which is nothing for us and it's not helpful and ignore it no big deal right Right here, you should be able to add your favorite resources. And if you click look on this pull down, you see one of the favorite resources. If you scroll down to Zoom Kit B. But the problem is, and some other things are listed here too. The only things you should see here right now are Zoom Kits B, C, D, and E. But right now, all we, the only one of those we see is Zoom Kit B, yet we see some other things that we shouldn't have here. So you could, it looks like, add Zoom Kit B, and we'll see in a moment you can also make a reservation for that. But it's uh, hopefully later today we'll have all the Zoom kits here, and maybe it will be only those things available to you, which is the, the goal. Okay. All right. So let's though look at another view you could look at. Under reservations, I kind of like the My Calendar view because it gives you a calendar, and maybe you say, oh, I want to reserve it for Friday. So I'm going to click on Friday, and then I can click on New Reservation. And now I don't have any resources in this reservation. So I, like, I didn't go to a resource first to make the reservation, which is the other option. I could change that. Click on change and I could go pick the resource I want. Zoom kit B is at this moment the only one that works, but hopefully the others will be listed here soon. And I'll say update. And then what? Well, then I would pick, I could change the date. I could change the time. I could make it for up to two hours. Um, it would allow me to. I could view the availability of that thing. And it shows me that during those times that is available. And then I could hide the availability. Um, and I could I could try to select another other, other students here, but I don't think that's very useful and it may not work anyway. Um, and then I would create the reservation. I'm not going to go through that process. Um, and then you would know the time you'd have set the time and so on. You could print the reservation if you wanted to or something, but you just go at that time to the cage and get your stuff out and realize you have it for no more than two hours. You don't have to set it for two hours if you want to set it for less. That's an option too. Um, and I guess that's about it. Hopefully these little problems with the right resources not being here will be fixed. But if it isn't fixed, uh, and, and it will be fixed soon, but other than that, there may be a few other hiccups. You can, you can use this, you read the instructions, you can actually go to the... Uh, you can look at a resource calendar, um, which shows you different resources, different times, and you could click on a day there. You could go to a, um, you could search reservations, I guess. I don't know, all the reservations in different days or something. You could go to a schedule, which shows all kinds of different resources, which you probably shouldn't be seeing all of them, and shows when they are reserved, but you can't reserve from here, I don't think. I could go in here and choose, I can look at that thing, but 
I don't think I can do a new reservation at this at this point. So I don't think this is a very useful one. But you guess you can see what things are reserved in different places. You look at this little key there. Um, and you can go back to your home view or something. And I don't know. Actually, that's the, that's the today view. Um, I go click on back and dashboard. So you can actually make res new reservations in a number of places. As I said, I could have added my favorite resource here, and then I could, could click reserve on that. And now it would go there and know that's what it was. I wouldn't have to add it. But again, you should have more options than just B. Hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.